President Biden dropped out of the 2024 presidential race and said he endorses Vice President Kamala Harris. But she's not guaranteed to be the new nominee. President Joe Biden announced today that he is withdrawing his candidacy and will no longer seek a second term. This comes after fellow Democrats including Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi pushed for Biden to reconsider the 2024 presidential race. Biden has been the presumptive nominee for months after easily winning almost every primary election in a mostly uncontested race. But he was never officially nominated since that process happens in August. In his announcement, Biden said current Vice President Kamala Harris has his full support and endorsement. Some people are wondering if she will automatically become the party's nominee. Will Vice President Kamala Harris automatically replace Biden as the Democratic presidential nominee? The sources. Democratic Party rules. Various state laws. U.S. Supreme Court. Elaine Carmack, senior fellow at the Brookings Institution. The answer. No, Harris will not automatically replace Biden as the Democratic presidential nominee. Vice President Kamala Harris isn't guaranteed to replace Biden as the Democratic presidential nominee now that is dropped out of the race. That's because party rules allow the Democratic Party to pick another candidate. The presidential nominee is decided by delegates at the Democratic National Convention. Delegates are assigned to vote for a candidate based on the results of their state's primary election. In most cases, people who are chosen to be delegates are active party members, leaders, or early supporters of one of the candidates. Democratic party rules say delegates elected to the National Convention, pledged to a presidential candidate, shall in all good conscience reflect the sentiments of those who elected them. Some states also have their own laws about what delegates can and cannot do. But the Supreme Court has ruled that at party conventions, party rules take precedence over state laws. In other words, states can't tell political parties how to pick their nominee. The phrase, in all good conscience, in the Democratic Party rules leaves room for delegates to vote for someone else if their candidate is no longer an option, Elaine Kamak, senior fellow in governance studies at the Brookings Institution, explained. And, if that candidate drops out of the race, there's no other rule that says delegates would automatically be bound to choosing a specific person to replace them. That's why Harris will not automatically become the Democratic presidential nominee. So what happens instead? All of the nearly 4,000 Biden delegates are allowed to cast their votes for anyone they want. This process is known as a brokered convention and it's how nominees were decided until presidential primaries became the norm. If no candidate has a majority after the first round of voting, party elders called superdelegates are allowed to participate in the next round. The delegates continue to vote until someone wins a majority and becomes the next presidential nominee. Though delegates are free to vote for any candidate, many have already expressed their support for Harris. For example, 236 of Florida's delegates are backing the vice president to replace Biden, the state Democratic Party said. More than 700 pledged delegates throughout the country have told the Associated Press or announced that they plan to support Harris at the convention which is over one-third of the pledged delegates Harris needs in order to secure the presidential nomination. Democratic National Committee rules most recently set 1,976 pledged delegates as the benchmark to win the nomination. Subscribe and click the bell icon for the more videos.